Welcome back, everybody. Here coming up on 940, we are answering your good questions about the coronavirus vaccine. And those who may have had Botox or facial fillers, the FDA is warning about an allergic reaction for a small number of people who got the vaccine and had filler work done. So if you're one of those people, you might be wondering, oh, should I get the shot? Good question. Here are the details behind the reaction and what we know this morning. Three patients in total out of 30,000 reporting intense swelling and inflammation after getting the Moderna vaccine. These three did have facial fillers. There are no adverse reactions noted with those who received Botox. Plastic and oral surgeons are warning their patients to be aware of the risk, but to remember it was a very small population reporting side effects to begin with. Since the, the reactions was minor, I would still recommend people to have fillers and obviously get the vaccine. They were treated just uh, with local measures, with antihistamines and just anti-inflammatory agents, and uh, the problem was resolved. Now, if you do have plans to get fillers in the future, space out the time maybe between your appointment and when you then get the vaccine. If you're planning on getting vaccinated next week or the week after, I would hold on and getting any uh, filler procedure done until you get vaccinated and wait a couple of weeks. Now, if you are still concerned, you could go to a provider that is using the Pfizer vaccine instead of Moderna's. Pfizer's has shown no such side effect so far, and a lot of the major hospitals here in the Kansas City metro are using the Pfizer vaccine right now. It's likely this impacts more people than ever right now. That's because during quarantine, plastic surgeons say the demand for facial fillers has exploded. They attribute much of that to the fact that people are looking at their faces all day on FaceTime and Zoom calls. All right, if you have a good question, email me at goodquestion at kctv5.com.